Today we're gonna to be making braised short rib ragu. So first things first, essential to a braising dish, we're gonna marinate the meat. So for our marinade today, we're using a traditional mirepoix of leeks, carrots, red onion, and garlic. So those are gonna go all into the bowl. So for our liquid today, we're gonna to be using red wine and beef stock. I've got one cup of red wine. Any type of red wine will be good. And we have two cups of beef stock. And lastly, for our spices, we're gonna be adding some bay leaves. So I've got three bay leaves here, and then I've got about a tablespoon of peppercorns. We're just gonna make sure that all of this is mixed together and that the meat is submerged into that liquid. So these short ribs have been marinating for about 12 hours in the fridge, and before we sear them, we're gonna pat them dry to get all that extra moisture off. The reason why we wanna pat these dry is so that when we sear them, they get a nice golden color, and if there's liquid on there, they're just going to kind of burn. Now we're gonna season the short ribs. This is a really important part, so try not to skip it. I like using Malden sea salt for dishes like this where we're gonna be cooking with red meat. And I like to do two to one, so two parts salt to one pinch of pepper. Perfect, now we're ready to sear. We're gonna preheat our casserole dish. I like using one that's got a lid and a wide base. So this one's gonna be perfect. We're gonna use olive oil today. Get a nice coating in there. It's really important to make sure the pan's hot because when we get the short ribs in there, we wanna have a nice hot sear and that's gonna create a lot of flavor. These are gonna go in one at a time and you do not wanna crowd the pan. You wanna make sure each short rib has contact with the hot pan. After about three minutes, you're gonna to wanna to turn these and what you're looking for is that nice caramelization on the outside of the ribs. Do not rush this part. This is a crucial step in developing all those delicious flavors. We're going to take them out and set them aside on a plate and then we're going to go in and deglaze. So we're going to just add in this liquid and what that's gonna do is it's gonna release all of those crispy bits from the inside of the pan. That's where all of the flavor is. And let that simmer for about a minute, and then we're gonna go in with the rest of the marinade. Now that the rest of the marinade is in here, we're gonna return the ribs back to the pan. And this is going to be our braising liquid. Here I just have regular canned tomatoes. They're raw and there's no seasoning or anything in them. That's gonna go right in. And that is what's going to create the ragu part. So when the meat marries with the tomato sauce, it's gonna make that beautiful sauce. Give that a quick stir. The lid is gonna go on, and this is gonna go into an oven at 300 degrees for about three hours. The trick to a nice braise is low and slow. Okay, let's take a look at these. Oh yeah, that is perfect. So what you're looking for is a dark red color and you know it's gonna be ready when the meat is just falling off of the bone, just like that. At this point, you wanna remove all the vegetables. Next, we're gonna remove the bones from the short ribs. The best way to get the meat off of the bones is to use a fork and a knife. It's not gonna to be too difficult because that meat is so tender. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna run the knife along the bone and just separate the two. The meat's going back into the sauce and we're just gonna give that a taste to make sure our seasoning is good. Mmm, that's perfect. This sauce goes great on mashed potatoes or check out my gnocchi recipe.